Hello, my name's Andy Moore. I'm here representing uh, Lima Acoustics uh, down at Martins Hi-Fi in Norwich. And we are introducing the new Lima Quantum range. The Quantum range uh, initially will be a, a group of four pieces of electronics. Um, coming in just above the elements range, but well below the Constellation series price point. Let's kick off with uh, some investigation into exactly what this is. We have four pieces. The streamer, uh, will be known as the Positron. The CD player is known as the Electron. The preamplifier is known as the Neutron. And the power amp is the Gravitron. So what have we got? Let's uh, just very quickly investigate the CD player. Um, very clean, uncluttered front panel. The mechanism that we've chosen to use is tried and tested. We've used this uh, for a number of years in the um, uh, Stream IV platform, uh, the CD player and streamer. So we know it's robust, that's important. Uh, around the back here, we have uh, balanced outputs, we have single-ended RCA, and if you wish to use it as a transport, well then you can use the coax or optical option. Uh, onboard DAC is the uh, ESS Sabre, uh, DAC, really nice D to A converter in a super quiet circuit, uh, both in the digital and analog worlds, maximizing the full potential of that piece of silicon. Okay, the uh, Neutron preamp, as shown here, uh, incredibly flexible. Uh, we have inputs for USB, three coax, three optical. Uh, a brace of uh, RCA analog inputs and a very, very good moving coil and moving magnet phono stage. That phono stage circuit um, has actually been lifted from the Essentials phono stage, which is very well reviewed around the world. So um, we expect it to perform incredibly well uh, when playing vinyl. On the front, we have uh, source select and volume control. The volume control in this piece remains in the analog world. It's a resistor ladder style stepped attenuator. Uh, so it's all analog, from analog in to analog out. Uh, obviously digital goes through an onboard D to A. And on the um, preamp, we've selected a Wolfson DAC. The power amplifier. Now the power amplifier really is a bit special. This amp weighs about 17 and a half kilos. Now, the vast majority of that 17 and a half kilos is the huge toroid transformer that sits in the middle. Most important thing about any amplifier, any power amplifier, is its power supply. If we're gonna ask a loudspeaker, be it small or large, to fire a dynamic, let's say maybe a big drum beat, that starts with the power supply. If the power supply is not robust or oversized, in this case, we lose control of the dynamic content within any recording. Um, and that's not nice. So take it as a given, that is probably the biggest power supply ever engineered into a product at this price point. The output stage, class AB, but not using two transistors. That's all you would need to drive a loudspeaker. This one's using six. That gives us massive current overhead, but also reduces the output impedance of the amplifier. And that gives us not only the huge power reserves, but total grip and control over the drive units in question. I've left the streamer to last because um, the streamer is still going through uh, the R&D exercise or R&D stage. The audio stage of this is finished. It's fully designed. It sounds fabulous. Um, we're in the process of selecting the input stage, the network stage. But take it as a given, it will support uh, Quobus, Tidal, uh, Deezer, Spotify, um, and local networks, so you can play from NAS drives regardless of the size. And it may also have the ability to play back from USB drives as well and uh, being a streamer, yeah, it's gonna be controlled by an app on a telephone or a tablet, usual stuff. Outputs on this will also cater for balanced uh, XLR and single-ended RCA. If you wanted to use the streamer as a transport, you've then got the option of uh, coax and optical. So that's the range. Um, it will go into full production 
in the next three months. It has been played last weekend at the uh, uh, Northwest Audio Show. It went down really well and for many people it was the sound of the show and certainly not the most expensive equipment at the show. Each box is um, going to retail between the £1,400 and £1,600 price point. One important last note, we still build this in Wales. Okay, it's, it's designed and engineered in Wales and where possible we source mechanical parts etc from the UK. Three months time, this will be in full production and will be available from Martin's Hi-Fi to audition immediately. In the meantime, Martin's do have a vast range of uh, Lima Acoustics electronics. They have uh, the Elements range and also the Top End Constellation range. So if you want to get a true flavour of what uh, Lima Acoustics can do, then uh, pop down to Martin's Hi-Fi. That's probably about it for now. Um, further information uh, will be uh, supplied closer to launch. Can you believe that? Which is the what the f electron? <laughs> 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 <laughs>